Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the updates that I've done to my laptop. Um, so this is going to be a quick raw video. Now, first thing, if you take a look at my laptop, is that I actually installed something called the W bar, and um, it's really easy to get. You just do uh, sudo apt-get install w bar and also remember to install wbar.config so you can edit the settings and everything and it'll just launch the bar on the bottom like so now the next thing that i've added to my collection is conky conky is like a system display manager that tells you what's going on with your system so i've modified it so it looks like this it's got the system the frequency uh uptime of the system file system and all my four cores and like a graph of the CPU. Then in the memory, you would see all the memories and stuff. And if you notice, my swap is actually one gig. And I'm gonna talk more about that. Um, it's something that you could do with the system that will significantly increase the RAM of your Raspberry Pi. And most devices use it these days. And then uh, so forth and so forth, top processes, uh, hard drive space, and uh, my LAN uh, IP and all that stuff with upload and download. So. More about the RAM. Now, what I'm using is something called a ZRAM, and it's a compressed RAM algorithm where it basically takes the RAM or your swap and compresses it and puts it back into memory. So you're not using your SD card space, you're actually using more RAM, so it's fast. So the catch to this is that it uses some CPU cycles to basically compress the, RAM, uh, compress the information to put it into RAM. Now, I wrote a script on how to get it working, so I, I'm gonna show you right now. I have all the files and everything in my GitHub, and I'm also gonna upload everything to my website, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the conky files and also to this ZRAM config file. So basically, it's a script that uh, boots up with the computer, executes the commands to, turn, to enable ZRAM. So here I go. Uh, now I'm going to talk about this just a little bit. If you take a look in the beginning, it basically says mod probe ZRAM, so it enables four devices. Why I selected four? It's because it's got four cores, so each core is uh, compressing. Uh, the total free RAM is basically a quick algorithm, and it divides the RAM and uh, takes the free amount of RAM, and then over here it divides it by four. So if you are using more memory for your graphics or less memory for your graphics, it's going to account for that. And then. Uh, here it basically echoes the memory into the ZRAM and then the next step is basically turns it into swap and then turns on the swap and I also place it in the RC config. I didn't want to do something special like uh, do system CTL or have the system boot up with it and make a little process for it. I just decided to put it into the rc.local file and here I added user bin slash zram.sh if you can see that and basically it loads it on boot up. And this is how you get an extra one gig of RAM. And it helps because on these low memory systems where you can't, we can't upgrade the RAM, it definitely helps when you're running multi-task or saying you're gonna run Chrome and LibreOffice and stuff like that, having that extra swap space does help. And it's not writing to the SD card. And SD cards are so slow, so it's not even considered usable in swap space. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. Uh, again, I'm going to try to make more videos like this, and I am sorry that I've been delayed with my videos. I've been sick, and with the holidays and everything, it's been a little tough. So uh, please hit that little subscribe button, which helps me a lot, and also hit that little bell so you get notifications of the next video. And as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.